Again, we want to apologize for uh, for not having the foreknowledge to attend the Libertarian Party convention in Orlando this past weekend. Um, as you know, Orlando is, I believe, I believe it's Orlando, is the number one strip club city in the country. Which is why you keep hearing, like, the Republicans always have, like, their convention. It seems like the... The libertarians, I can't imagine. I, and I would imagine there was a lot of, uh, they had a good week. Trying to negotiate gold bars. But, <laughs> but I think what you're about to see is a bit of a coincidence. Uh, but who knows? Maybe libertarian James Week. Uh, weeks, I should say. As he, um, I guess, attempted to, I don't know if this is in lieu of a speech for his... Uh, Race to it's be a concession speech of sorts. Oh, libertarian. Oh, was it a party chair? It was a concession speech. So he had already lost the election. Uh, here he is. Uh, he uh, basically, um, well, he gets the audience excited. My favorite part about this is that he he makes it seem like he's just getting everybody to dance and to have fun. And these libertarians start to cut loose. You can see as they, they pan to the audience, people are just like, this is like a party, like a convention. And then the guy starts to undress and things get a little bit awkward. Ooh. <laughs> I didn't realize what's going on. He's got the German Iron Cross on his right shoulder. Uh huh. So he's a fun loving white supremacist. It's just graphically really appealing. A lot of guys with one dollar bills, though, running up there and putting in his G-string. And people thinking this was a bad idea and we shouldn't have done this. <laughs> this isn't helping us look more sane and credible. <laughs> Hold on. There's a problem with my voice. I can't really hear it that well. Uh, they're not happy. He's kind of chill about it. He's like, eh, it's a bet. C SPAN is taking the cameras off of him. Wasn't it a dare or something? That's why he did it. Yeah. Sorry, I'm sorry, it was a dare. I'm going to go ahead and drop out. You're making an ass of yourself. Anybody got your nerve to throw him out? Idiot. Hold on. How do they all sound like did the, gentleman, did the gentleman leave his mobile phone? <laughs> throw it the audience. <laughs> Why do they all yeah. sound like extras in a Mike Judge? Yeah. In a Mike Judge type Now, to be fair, I, I, you know, a lot of people are like giving this guy a lot of grief, like it discredits libertarians. I have to say that in all honesty, I think um, the ideas about the everybody gets their own courts, uh, that's a little bit more discrediting. He's a consequentialist libertarian as well, though. Right. So I think you know what that means. I do. I, yeah. Of course. Uh, it means that... Um, I have a different perspective on stripping a libertarian <laughs> convention. <laughs> and I'd like to start uh, by asking you, would you agree that rape is bad? <laughs> that was a consequentialist <laughs> Wehrmacht cross. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. I, I don't really have much time here. The phone line is really bad. <laughs> but uh, I have a little bit of a different perspective on getting naked in front of a group of people for no apparent reason and having white supremacist tattoos. Uh, it that all starts with, if you were uh, in prison... Dude, I think you can take a look at that guy and see that he cares about things like a design and aesthetics. And uh, that's what that, <laughs> that's what that uh, tattoo is about.
Hello, you. I'm Sam Cedar. Looking for smart, progressive talk that is occasionally amusing? Well, subscribe to our YouTube feed. Subscribe to our podcast. Like us on Facebook. And just generally enjoy us.